You can twist the future. That's what I believe. I want to fight for a future where everyone can smile, because a world without people laughing is a dark place. Give up already. It's like I told you heroes earlier. You're all going to die! I won't let that happen! I'll stop you no matter what it takes! One blow to the head! Manchester! <laughs> You're infected. Not good. Young Midoriya, you never do what you're told, do you? As news of what happened in Kaminoku spread, People all over the world were devastated. Our superhero society changed overnight. The next day, All Might summoned me to the beach. There, he punched me. After that, he told me he couldn't fight anymore. It was over. The symbol of peace was actually retiring. Texas Smash! You've made a promise, but as it turns out, you can't keep your word. If you kids had gotten hurt, everything would have been in vain. Got some bad influences. <laughs> the last sparks of One for All have left me. I can barely use my muscle form. I can't protect you when you get yourself in trouble now. You're always rushing to help people, no matter the danger. Destroying your body over and over. And then at Kaminoku, you managed to rescue your friend without being injured or getting into a fight. I'm so proud of you. From here on out, I will devote myself to training you. You're stuck with me, so let's work hard. He punched me, but I barely felt the stinging on my cheek. And that's when I knew it was actually true. All Might's reign was over. I couldn't keep worrying about getting stronger, because I had to improve. As I sat there crying in All Might's arms, I remembered the first days of our training. Young Midoriya, it's tutorial time! First, let's see if you can perform each type of move. This training will make you strong for the future. It's more about getting used to battle than learning. In the past, I also thumped my mentor and... I'll save that story for another time. Anyway, let's continue. Here's the news. Like you can perform all of your moves. Now let's use them in a real fight. Final round. round. Ready? Clash! I'm not getting any. Just getting started. Here's the flash. Out of all the paths my life could have taken, I met the greatest hero in the world. And he chose me as his successor. I have to keep running toward my goals at full speed. 
and help create a bright future. Now, it's your turn. All Might, I swear, I'll become a hero like you, no matter what. Shoot style is the very embodiment of me! It's fine now, because I am here! I'm glad you're here, young Midoriya. This is part two of the tutorial. We're going to practice minor techniques. Okay, get ready to test all of the moves. I like that you want to learn, you hard-working little whippersnapper! Actually, if you listen to your mentor and get stubbornly told to think about that yourself, and you always get the tar beat out of you, well, that's enough of that. Anyway, let's go beyond! Looking good! Let's go on to the next stage! Fill one charge of the plus ultra gauge and try unleashing a plus ultra one! When you go at it, you get all worked and yell this! SMASH! Next is Plus Ultra 2. Build up two bars of your Plus Ultra gauge and give it a shot. I'm not getting anywhere. No time for kick. Tommy! Here I come! Kick! It's a prison! Is that it? I feel so strong. Plus Ultra Gauge, and release a sidekick Plus Ultra! This should be enough. Demi! Yeah. I'm not getting anywhere! Okay, okay. Here's the final technique. Build up three full bars of your Plus Ultra Gauge, and unleash a Plus Ultra! It looks like you were able to perform all of the moves. Let's practice one last time. Young Midoriya, show me your plus ultra! Final round! Ready? Clash! I'm not getting anywhere! Right! Let's 
starting to get it! After saving Bakugo, we took him to talk to the police. Then it took half a day to get home from Kaminoku. I kept wondering, what impact would All Might's retirement have? Who would be the number one hero now? There you are, Shoto! I was afraid something had happened to you. You could have at least responded to some of my messages, you know. At least you're okay. So, uh, Dad's been in a mood since he got back. You should go see him. Watch it. You're going to demolish our house. <sighs> Shoto, get over here. We should talk. Final round! round. Ready? Ready? I'm sure you've heard, well, that fool's no longer the top hero, which means it's number two. No, I can't accept this. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Then say, it's your turn? What a ridiculous warning to criminals. What was he thinking? Explain. My entire life, I've tried to close the gap between me and All Might. And now, Spot by beating him! Not because he failed! And now, I'm sure the League of Villains will make a move. Criminals will come out of hiding. The underworld will become more active. Without the fear of all light, those who lurk in the shadows will feel braver and not hesitate to move into the light. Which means, I must show that I am stronger than any hero or villain. Yes, I must become not... Asusra! Unsightly. Win! I can't stop. I won't stop. Amazing. Right. Of course. Another rant from my old man. How many of those have I heard? Although, he did seem pretty emotional this time. Well, I suppose... In the end, he's just trying to do what he thinks is best. Just wait. I'll reach the top in my own way. After the Kaminoku incident, UA decided to move its hero students on campus. Given everything that had happened, it was for our own protection. But before we could start packing our bags, the school needed consent from everyone's guardians, so the teachers did home visits. Before I knew it, All Might was at my house! I'll be frank with you. Ever since enrolling at UA, my baby just keeps getting hurt. I won't allow Izuku to move into the dorms. I shouldn't have been surprised. I'd been ignoring my mother's feelings for so long. How many times has she seen me bloody and broken after fighting villains? But still... Look, Mom! All my... You too! At the hospital, I got this letter thanking me. It's from Koda. He's the boy I saved at the training camp, and this made me feel like a real hero. That's what I'm meant to be, so I won't stop. That means I'll keep training even if I'm not at UA. Listening to you, I can tell you're on your own path, not just following in my footsteps. That's good. And I know that learning from heroes will help you achieve your goals. So please, ma'am! I believe the young Izuku is the right person to succeed me. He is my choice to become the world's next symbol of peace. So please, will you allow me to devote myself to helping your son? We will go beyond. 
I will walk beside him and lift him up. Even if it costs me my life, I swear I'll protect him. No. All Might, you are Izuku's reason for living. So don't give up your life. He needs you to raise him and keep him safe. If you can promise me you'll do that, then he can return to UA. I promise you. Your idol is impressed with you. I'm sure that's one of the happiest things that's ever happened to you. But listen, if you're staying at UA, you have to keep out of trouble. Izuku, be careful. I will. I won't make you worry. In order to better explain the dorm system, namely how it would help protect the students, <sighs> All Might and I went door to door. Next up was Jiro's home. I hope that you'll give us the honor of continuing to teach Kyoka. I believe wholeheartedly that UA can help her become the best possible hero. No need to lay it on so thick. We've already made up our minds. My dad thought All Might's battle was totally rocking. I even think he got a little teary-eyed. Anyway, we're down. You know, uh, I thought the parents would come down on us a lot harder. I suppose you're part of the reason they're not, so, uh, thank you, All Might. <laughs> Knock it off, this isn't like you. Besides, I have a feeling the next family won't be an easy sell. This visit might be rough. Yo, young Bakugo. How thoughtful of you to wait for us outside. All Might. I gotta know. Don't lie. What exactly is Deku to you? I'm sorry, young Bakugo. But that's something I just can't tell you. He's my student. Just like you. A fledgling hero with bright prospects. I figured you wouldn't tell me the truth. In that case, I'll just have to force the answer out of you. Don't waste your breath with such an illogical threat. As you can see, All Might is seriously hurt. If you're looking for a fight, I'll be your opponent. All Might, stay behind me. Final round! Ready? Ready? Clash! Aizawa? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll take it easy on him. Especially since we're at his home. Right. <laughs> Melee, I can't restrain myself. I got this. So slow. I see right through you. You got no use. I couldn't dodge it. Melee. <laughs> Watching and waiting. It's gone. Watch yourself. Yeah. What are you? Erased, really? So slow. <laughs> Damn pebble. Melee. Got to aim for the weak point. <laughs> This will be close. Ultra! Oh, admiration was wrong. Win! It is illogical to resist. Amazing. You don't want to tell me that badly, huh? Whatever. Come inside. Kotsky, what have you done now? You causing trouble for your teachers? Why else would they be doing home visits? Out with it, what have you gotten into? Um. Oh, this is about the whole on-campus living thing? Hell yeah, get this kid in a dorm room. I think UA really understands who Kotsky is at his core. He is a hot-tempered brat. But please, train this giant pain and make him a good hero. We talked about Bakugo being a hero at the press conference. I guess thanks to that, his mother trusts us to teach him. From now on, we teachers will not just be mentors for our students, but protectors too. To really take care of them. In mid-August, 
I packed my bags and moved out. I'd now be living in the dorms along with my classmates. Our building was called Heights Alliance, located on the edge of UA's campus, about a five minute walk from the main school. Given everything that's happened recently, I'm glad our class is here safely. Now then, I'll explain how your dorm assignments will work shortly. But first, this is important. Listen well. Todoroki, Kirishima, Midoriya, Yayorozu, Ida. You five are the ones who broke the rules and went to rescue Bakugo that night. Ribbit? As for the rest of you, I assume you were at least aware of their plan. Normally, you'd all be expelled. You betrayed the trust of your teachers. Even if it was to keep your friends from getting into trouble, they could have died. I hope each of you understands that. However, we can't kick out students while the League is out there. Who knows what they could be plotting next. So, in order to regain our confidence, you'll need to obey our every rule and live as model students. Got it? Now, look alive. Enjoy your new home. Wait, that's it? Pretty crappy pep talk. We're like disappointments. I feel so lame. Dumbass, come here! Huh? Wait, why? What's up? Final round! round. Ready? Ready? Clash! Bring it down! Get lost! He's fried, Bakugo. You losers all sounded depressed. It was getting annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what a moron. You're so helpless. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh at this idiot and move on. I guess sometimes it's good to blow off steam. Each student dorm holds one class. Girls are on the right, and boys are on the left. The first floor is a common area. That's where you'll find your kitchen, baths, and laundry rooms. Doth my earth deceive me? Our baths are located in the common area? Is this heaven? So spacious and pretty! Ooh, look at that sofa! Your rooms have already been assigned. The belongings you sent ahead have already been placed in your new spaces. Spend the day unpacking and getting settled. I'll tell you more about your next lessons tomorrow. And Minetta, the baths are not co-ed. I warn you, you will behave yourself. It's weird. I know we could have died, but it's kind of exciting to be living here. Hey boys, are you done unpacking? Because if so, I think we should have a contest. The girls and I were thinking, we should vote to see who has the coolest room! <laughs> Good idea! Come to mind, girls! I've got so much stuff to show you! We'll crown a winner and everything! Now, any volunteers to go first? I will not be ignored! This isn't fair! Start with me! Final round! Ready? Clash! I promise! You have fun in my bed chambers! Yeah! Gross! Wait! Help it! Ah! 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 Ah!
Making that drool face. Look out! <laughs> Just a peek. Please! Yeah. Yeah. Ew! Uh, stay away from me! <laughs> Go around! <laughs> ah. Jump! Ah. Got it! Ah. Hey! Ah. Drop! Ah. Surrender! Ah. I'll be dead! Ah. So I could Wild be Wild Bobby! Ah. So, at Ashido's suggestion, we all decided to judge the rooms we barely moved into. First off, everyone headed to... What? Uh, no! Uh, that one's mine! Hold on! It's not ready! Please don't! Wait! Whoa! It's All Might everywhere! Jeez, you're such a fanboy! It's amazing! This is so much fun! Whose room is next? You're up next, class rep! Whoa, you've got so many glasses! Do you really need all these, Ida? Kirishima, your room is… Uh, let's just say I don't understand what some boys call decorating. Sato, your room smells so good! Did you just now bake that adorable cake? Delicious! What? Why is Tokoyami's room so scary? And why do you have swords? Dang! Todoroki's room is so traditional. Are those floor mats? Did you have this place remodeled? And Aoyama. Uh, yeah. Makes sense. I know I'm next, but this is kind of embarrassing. Cool! This is totally punk rock! Can you play all of these instruments? Let's see Ashido's room. It's super cute! And Yayorozu's room? Oh, that furniture looks expensive! Hakakure's room! <gasps> oh, it's ultra! Has everyone got their votes in? Remember, you can't pick yourself for this, guys! And now, without further ado, here are the results of the first Best Room competition! With a total of five votes, the overwhelming winner of this totally awesome contest is… Drumroll! Rikido Sato! By the way, all the girls voted for you. We couldn't get enough of that yummy cake! <laughs> you villain! Aspiring heroes shouldn't resort to bribery! That's so not fair! <laughs> this is great. You guys never change. The room contest turned out to be pretty interesting, especially since Sato was the unexpected winner. Not everyone got to experience the excitement, though. Later on, some of us got called outside. Todoroki, Deku, Ida, and you too, Kirishima and Yaoyorozu. Do you have a second? Sue wants to talk. It's really important. The thing is, you guys know I'm pretty straightforward. But sometimes, I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss. After Bakugo was taken by the villains, we were told not to go after him. So I knew your rescue attempt would break the rules. I wasn't sure what to say to you. So I hardened my heart and tried to speak my mind, no matter how hard that was. I said, if you went against our teacher's wishes, you'd be acting like villains, not heroes. I was hurting inside. But I'm sure hearing that hurt all of you, too. To 
despite my warning, you still went and saved Bakugo. I didn't know that until this morning. I thought I'd stopped you, but I'm a complete failure, and I felt betrayed by my classmates. I didn't think I deserved to joke around and have fun with everyone like usual, and it, it made me so sad to be alone. That's why, even if I'm still not sure how I'm supposed to be feeling, I... I wanted to tell you this so we could be friends again. It's not just you who feels that way. Everyone has been upset. We all want to get back to normal. Honest. This is so complicated. But let's do our best. We'll train really hard and be good friends again. I know we can do it. Sue... I'm sorry! Thanks for telling us how you feel! With that... We all had a new set of aspirations. To be heroes, that part didn't change. But also, to regroup, to trust each other, and to get back to everyday lives. Now that we'd moved into the dorms, we could return to training. I hadn't been in class for so long, so I was ready to learn and grow stronger. This summer, your main focus is obtaining provisional hero licenses. Do not take this lightly. A hero license means that you're responsible for human lives. As such, you can imagine they're hard to qualify for. Today, you'll concentrate on creating ultimate moves. It's like a school assignment and a hero assignment combined! Rock on! Let's do this! According to Mr. Aizawa, having an ultimate move will heavily impact our provisional licensing exam. Without one, it could be hard for us to pass. And so, we moved to Jim Gamma to train. There we'd see what we could come up with. In battle, your special maneuvers must prove useful. They won't help if they leave you defenseless. That's why today, you're going to practice against the foe villains. Don't hold back against them. First up is... Huh? Of course I'm number one! Time to explode! Bring it! I could let loose like this. I killed him. Give me another one. Kachan, you're so amazing. I bet you have lots of ideas for ultimate moves. How can I fight? My arms are all busted up. What's worse, I can't risk damaging them anymore. So how do I come up with a new technique? Ashido's doing great. Her acid is incredible. Mineta's working on something called Grape Rush. I wonder how it'll work out. And Uraraka's working overtime right now. They're all gonna leave me behind if I don't act fast. You look worried, so how about some advice? Use that clever head on your shoulders. There's no right or wrong here. The thing that's important is that you realize your full potential on your own. Think for yourself. Right now, you're still trying to imitate me. Also, you should be planning how you can improve your costumes, especially now that you understand your quirks better. If you want anything changed, head to the development studio for help. I didn't really get why imitating All Might was such a bad thing, but I knew I had to do something to keep up. 
So I went down to the development studio to get some expert advice and found an explosion waiting for me. Wait, no, that was just Mei Hatsume from the support course. So this high-tech baby senses muscle contractions and improves your movements? That's great! But actually, I needed something for my arms. An electric booster that can cool anything that gives off heat? That's perfect for my radiators! Ah! Hold on! My quirk is in my legs, you mad woman! That's true. But think of it this way. If you're wanting to let your legs cool down, then why don't you just run with your arms instead? <laughs> Brilliant! Hold on. Maybe she has a point. Oh! Ooh! I think I've got it! doesn't get weighed down by common sense. I try out new things every day! Now, now, any other requests? Oh, how about this? Four days after visiting the development studio, I was back at Gym Gamma. It was my first training session with my new gear. Not an explosion from my entire hand, but a blast from a single concentrated point. Take this! AP shot! Hey! Watch out! All Might! Above you! That's right. You're doing great. Show those faux villains what you've learned! Final round! round. Ready? Ready? Clash! All Might's signature moves usually involve his fists. Since I inherited one for all from him, I tried to do the same thing. Copying his every technique. But even if my arms are messed up, I can still use my legs. It's so obvious that I didn't even realize it. This is my move. One for all, full cowling. Shoot style! Just get started! Win! Oh, right! I'm starting to get it! Amazing! Dude, Midoriya! You swooped in and wasted that rock! It's these new souls. Hatsume suggested them, and I think they'll really up my game. Plus, Ida's been showing me how to use my legs better, so my fighting style has changed. Looks like other people improve their costumes, too. You're not the only one here with a brand new style. We've all been making changes here and there. Now's the time to upgrade. That's right. Remember, older students with more experience than you will be at the provisional licensing exam. There's no doubt this will be tough. But again, try not to overthink things too much. If you get lost in your own head, you're done for. Hey, All Might. It's dangerous in here. You should be careful. <laughs> yeah, All Might. Watch yourself! Watch yourself, huh? I guess that only makes sense. <sighs> to everyone else, I'm just a weakling now. Someone who needs to be protected. Even if it's by my own students. When training was over, I sat down with the girls in the common room of our dorm. Oh, Choco, you seem a little tired. <laughs> no, no, no! I can't be worn out. I've got way too much to do. The problem is, I kind of can't focus. It's like my heart won't calm down. That's love! So who is it, Midoriya or Ida? You're always hanging out with those two boys. Come on, spill it! What? You've got it all wrong. That's not it. I swear, it isn't. Oh, please. 
It's not like that, honest. I don't know what this is. I'm just tense. Deku? That's not it. He'd look different. He led with his hip, I think. I can see his shape in my head right now. This definitely isn't up to ultimate move level yet. It's not love, is it? Deku, you're giving your all to reach your goal, which inspires me to work that much harder. I don't want to change that, so I've got to push these feelings down. I'll focus on my dream, just like you do.